crude oil and net gas have shown a little recovery from the drop earlier you can see why 77.3 was a good support i have mentioned why 77.3 levels are going to play an important role and precisely oil has bounced back from the same levels and likewise net gas is also started to bounce back or recover a little from the support at 2.76 it has hit 2.81 now now looking at the nasdaq and dow jones see nasdaq and dow jones traded bearish for the day we have seen tech 100 moving towards 18670 Uh, we have discussed 18675 levels it has hit the 18675 levels trying to recover a bit while us it is yet to break below 39800 now what to expect from oil gas nasdaq and dow jones we are going to see with the help of charts and indicators yes the inventory data for crude oil might bring volatility that is the data for the oil rest all not much of the data is going to impact other commodities and indices and how to profit today we are going to see with the help of charts and indicators this is the second update for the day those who had watched the first update must have already profited the subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notifications do join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort and friends before leaving the video do like share and comment which is a great 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 motivation chapters are included in the video for you all so that you can all uh find your direct or you can move directly to your favorite instruments and watch that with that let's start first we look into tech now see what tech 100 has done on the hourly chart see the rise here retracement towards 50 period then the rise higher high than the retracement towards 50 period with the support from the 50 period now it is showing it has shown a reversal sign and now the prices are trying to rise just wait for the next candle and once you see it is staying beyond 13740750 zone you can stay bullish for 13770 and then we can look forward to 13820 levels as well if you look at a stock i think this is rising the macd is still uh, right now trading bearish but it is trying to converge here rsi is also rising coming to 2 hour likewise on the 2 hour charts price is taking the support from 20 period here they also taking the support from 20 period and here also taking the support from the 20 period moving average second thing is look at the bullishness with every move the bullishness had got diminished now uh, this is diminishing bearishness but this also calls for a breakout so once it breaks out beyond uh 18770 levels we can expect of a good rise it can give a breakout a stronger breakout but as long as 1877780 zone is not taken do not read nasdaq 100 as bullish the stock has taken rising the macd is almost flat and rsi is showing a little bullish move coming to 3 hour charts look at 3 hour charts here rise retracement rise retracement and now trying to bounce back here and um, see after three bearish candle first bullish candle i will wait for the next candle if the next candle is also bullish here it can try to give you a stronger breakout as long as it fails to break beyond uh, 1875770 zone we should not be treating this as bullish yes we can see it is taking support but also i can see uh, that the bullishness is getting diminished so reversal cannot be denied stock has taken has dropped a bit macd almost flat here and rsi rising coming to 4 r on the 4 hour charts what it has done it has done with the lower highs here and now if it stays below this zone you can expect that it can try to reverse as well where 18640 and once it breaks below 18650630 zone is where you can say that the bears will be active and the prices might drop sharper else as long as 18650630 uh, levels are not taken we should not be trading nasdaq 100 as bearish here stock i think also you should notice that uh, the moves here have given 20 period moving average is a good support which is also sitting at around 18650 levels making it a greater support the stock has taken coming out of the overbought macd bearish and rsi is coming out of the overbought as well coming to the daily now look at the daily chart see the tail is done preceding candle has closed at the top now if it breaks beyond 757770 consider that it is going to deliver a third bullish candle here in succession which can in fact take the prices towards 18800 820 zone as well be watchful two bullish candles though i can see the body size is getting smaller but it certainly suggests that there is still bullishness so approximately it can try to move towards 18800 plus minus 20 zone before looking forward to a drop but that is a uh, buying entry i will only recommend if you see it is staying above 18700 stock as it overbought macd bullish and rsi overbought so looking at this before i give you the trading levels and strategy if you want to learn this art of trading be a part of my uh, 31st mentorship batch starting 10th of june register yourself now Le reach out to me for details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my signals channel where trading as per the signals you can benefit and those who had asked me to recommend a broker which 
where you can trade all the diverse instruments including oil, gas, NASDAQ, gold, silver, anything you can trade from across the globe with lowest spreads on offer. You can join through the link and you will get the lowest spreads and yes, it is a safe secure broker. So we have got our buying entries now at 18740 and now the selling entries I will recommend is at 18690 but then 18670, 18650, 18630 levels now, it is in odds now. As and as long as 18630 is not taken, do not treat NASDAQ as bearish. Below 18630 is where we can look forward to a sharp drop. And thus you can sell here at 18690. So buy at 18740, uh, sell at 18690. That is the call for the day. Now let's have a look at Dow. Now see US 30 after the drop here, it is retraced and now again looking downwards. Very important for it to drop below 39780, zone. Once it draws below this, you can say that there is going to be a pull towards 39740, 700 and in fact 600. Uh, but as long as 39,780, 770 zone is not taken, we should not be treating US 30 as bearish. And on the upside now, 39,900 anyways is going to remain a greater resistance zone. Moving averages are trading with divergence and bearishness. The stock ISTIC has dropped to bottom. MACD is also trading bearish here, looking downwards. And RSI, similarly, it is also looking bearish as of now. Coming to 2 hour if you look at 2 hour chart, see I can definitely find out this is a greater support zone, it has seen a rise, it is retraced, right now higher lows, higher highs. So now if you see our US 30 is staying beyond 39,860 levels, you can initiate a buying entry, wait for 900, 920 and if 900, 920 and 960 uh, zone is taken, you can say now it is trying to reverse, else it is still not suggestive of bearishness. Yes, I can say that bearishness is still there but it is diminishing in nature. The stock has take over sold, MACD crossing over here for sell, RSI dropping here, coming to 3 hour, look at the 3 hour charts, already it is coming out, already it is trying to break but it can bounce back as well. Uh, yes, below 39,800, 770 or rather I say 39,780, 770 zone, you can expect more bearishness here. And yes, you can sell here at 39,810 itself, but then uh, be careful as long as 39,780, 770 levels are not taken. Stock has take dropping, MACD is bearish and RSI is almost flat. And on the 4 hour, on the four hour charts, look at these two candles. After a reversal sign, we can see diminishing bearishness. Second, the rise from this candle is completely erased now and it has come to the support levels. And uh, yes, that is why I say you can sell here at 39,810 levels and expect it to drop towards 39,787, 70 and then 39,730, 740 zone below which further bearishness to be seen here as the drop, the retracement and the drop can be further sharp which can try to take the prices towards 8. Uh, 39,700 levels. Stock ISIC dropping sharp, MACD bearish and RSI has dropped. Coming to daily charts. Now look at the daily charts. See, it needs to break this zone and then we can expect similar size of candle here which can take the prices towards 39,780 and in fact 39,600 levels. Yes, it can try to move towards these levels here. On the upside, the resistances are very, very strong. We have to wait for it to clearly uh, give a breakout either which way is any move beyond 39,900, 920 will confirm the reversal towards 40,000 as well. That is also you should note off. Stock ISTIC dropping sharp, MACD is uh, bullish here trying to converge a bit and RSI overbought. So looking at this, I will recommend you to buy at only 39,860 levels beyond which you can look forward to 39,900, 920. And if US 30 breaks beyond 39,900, 920, you can look forward to a rise uh, towards 40,000 levels, close to 40,000 and in fact plus plus levels as well. On the downside, a selling entry I will recommend is at 39,810 where you can expect 39,780, 770, very, very good support. Remember, it is going to be a bit riskier if you are buying at 39, eight, uh, selling at 39,810 as long as 39,770, 780 is not taken. Be careful. Below this, you can expect it to move towards 39,740 uh, and if it breaks 740, then 700 is a must and then 600 levels can also be expected. Take your positions accordingly. Do like, share and comment. Now, let's have a look at crude oil. Now see what oil has done so far, it has traded bearish on the upside 79, definitely the greater resistance and we can see it delivering lower highs, lower lows. Remember it is yet to stay and close the day below 77.8 in order to confirm bearishness, though it has moved towards my next support at 77.3 but failed to break below. At the same time now on the upside 78.4 is the only level beyond which I will recommend you to buy oil here. The stock has stick back to overbought. MACD after forming double bottom, it can try to rise, it can lead to slight bullishness. RSI has retraced from the bottom levels. Coming to 2 hour charts, if you look at 2 hour charts here, uh, observe this stronger pull is seen here from the lows level and see this is trading in this bearish channel. Just wait for 78.4 first to be breached, then 78.6, 8.7 and then 79. If these 3 levels are taken, 
consider that oil is giving a breakout and we are looking forward to higher highs. The inventory data today can bring little volatility, thus you should be trading with caution. The stochastic rising, MACD is bearish, it has hit the bottom, it can try to converge crossover for a rise. RSI is trading with slight bearishness. Coming to 3-hour charts, similar observation here on the 3-hour charts, uh, bullish candle, bearish candles, series, serial bullish, bearish candles here. And now if, if it breaks on the upside and specifically beyond 78.6 and 79 zone, yes, beyond which you can look forward to bullish momentum in crude oil. The stochastic forming double bottom trying to rise, it can try to lead to the prices to the over to overbought zone. MACD is extremely bearish, we should expect it to converge crossover. RSI has dropped. Coming to 4R, on the 4R chart, see it is showing a pullback. Uh, but I will say again, selling sell at only 77.8 below which you can expect it to move towards 77.5, 77.3. And if it draws below 77.3 is where you can look forward to 76.8 at the next support levels. Stock stick rising here. The MACD is still bearish and RSI is also dropping here. Coming to the day. Now look at daily charts. See, first of all, you can find out the support levels here are intact. Rise retracement, higher highs retracement and see uh, the support levels here at 77.3 also is very very good and then in fact uh, look at this zone this zone is critical if it draws below 77.3 you can expect a round of bearishness which can in fact take it towards 76 and that should be considered a breakout right now what you can see here is it is trying to stay in the box and if you see it is staying beyond 78.4 now consider it for a recovery and in fact it can try to move towards 79 and higher levels as well Stochastic dropping here, the MACD is in green, it is trying to converge and RSI flat. So looking at this, very simple, buy at 78.4 levels, sell at 77.8 for this 60 cents, do not take a trade. And yes, uh, you can also profit by joining my signals channel and joining my mentorship badge. Do not miss to join this learning journey. Reach out to me via telegram or email and join the broker recommended in the link and you can save much of your capital. So now the buying entries are clear at 78.5, be careful at around 78.6, 78.8 zone, then 79.1, 79.2 zone and if this is taken, we are looking forward to 80 and 81 levels very very soon in the near future. On the downside, a selling entry is only at 77.8, 77.75 levels below which 77.5, 77.3 is a very very good support below 77.3 is where the bears will take over and then we can look forward to a move towards 76.8 and 76 levels take your positions accordingly let's have a look at natural natural gas if you see it has hit the lows here it is trying to give a breakout bullishness then consolidation now breakout here just wait for it to stay about this zone here at 2.8283 and we can look forward to a move towards uh, 2.8586 and then in fact 2.992 but I, I do see that there is further room for gas to move on the downside. Look at the rise here. It has started the rise from these levels. It has come to the same support levels. The stock has taken rising. MACD has hit a bottom trying to bounce back. RSI is rising. On the two hour charts, if you look on the two hour charts, likewise, see uh, lower highs. And it can try to move towards the top, towards lower lows here. And yes, uh, lower lows are done. Lower highs are towards 2.86. Thus, this zone is critical on the upside towards 2.8688. So now uh, a drop below 2.7678 and on the upside towards 2.8688, this is the zone where we have to be a bit cautious with net gas. Stock is rising, MACD is bearish trying to converge, RSI is rising. Coming to 3 hour charts, see here we have mentioned that the too much of divergence of the price from the 20 period, it has converged towards 20 period moving average, now trying to recover so possibly. Uh, beyond 2.8283 zone, we can look forward to 8586 and then we can look forward to 2.9. Stock is rising, MACD is bearish here, RSI is rising, coming to 4R, likewise on the 4R charts, taking the support, trying to bounce back and uh, yes, this recovery can be strong if it stays above 2.8688 zone, certainly more bullishness may prevail. Stock is rising while the MACD is still bearish here, trading with divergence. RSI has also come out of the overbought zone. Coming to daily chart, now see on the daily charts preceding candle we have seen higher highs it, and these levels are proving out to be a support here. It is trying to bounce. There is, there can be a recovery but my only worry point is too much of divergence of the price from the moving average 20 period which is sitting at around 2.5. Right now it is not showing much signs of bearishness but uh, it is, it may consolidate such that the prices or the moving average may climb here and then retrace. 
uh, I will say that it is still trading in zone. Stochastic overbought, MACD bullish, RSI overbought here. So looking at this, I will recommend you to buy net gas if you see it is staying beyond 2.83 levels. When you see the lower price is about 2.83, you can buy and expect it to move towards 2.8586 8, first target zone, 8, 2.88 and then 2.9192 levels. If at any point of time 2.9192 is taken, consider that there is a move towards $3 levels which is going to be seen soon. And on the downside below 2.78, you can take a sell entry for 2.7576 first target zone and then a 2.72 levels will come into picture below which further bearishness can be seen towards 2.68, 2.65 levels. Take your positions accordingly, like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship match, join my singles channel. Join the free telegram channel for live market updates and join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort. Do not miss to watch always the first video, first update with the Asia and Europe session. Thank you. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.